The conditions were optimum as the countdown proceeded. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Two separate mission controls, one for Axiom and the other for the SpaceX team. Five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off Falcon 9. Go ahead. Then the Falcon 9 rocket eased off the launch platform and the journey began. The crew includes veteran NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson as commander and three private customers paying an estimated $55 million each, businessman John Schofner and two Saudi nationals who are graduates of Saudi Arabia's first astronaut program. We are really uh, thrilled and excited for uh, our uh, mission and to represent Saudi Arabia on this journey. I'm really looking forward to all the experiments we're going to be uh, conducting on board the International Space Station. Biomedical researcher Rayana Banawi will be responsible for many of these experiments. And before the launch, she expressed her pride at becoming the first Saudi woman in space. I have worked for the past 10 years as a researcher, so research has been my passion in life. I have uh, worked on stem cells and tissue re-engineering, and I'm very happy and honored to be here today representing the government of Saudi Arabia and the Saudi Space Commission as the, um, the first Saudi women astronaut going to the International Space Station. The two will join a United Arab Emirates national who's already on the space station. Sultan Al Nayadi tweeting out this view of Saudi Arabia, welcoming his colleagues and celebrating the first ever time that three Arab astronauts will be in space together. B plus 30 seconds. AX-2 is the first commercial spaceflight mission to include both private astronauts and those representing foreign governments. A perfect fusion of corporate, individual and national interests. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.